Hi guys, Sandy from So Easy by Sandy here. Today we are making a family heirloom. We are making something that I hope will stay in my family for years and years to come, long after I'm gone, you know. I hope people still treasure it even though they have no idea who I was. That to me is the beauty of quilts, you know, they're timeless and precious and the older the better. Okay, back to this project. I am probably not going to make it the same way most people do, so I think I'll be able to surprise you. Also, I'm going to make this a small series, you know, with the different steps in different videos, so it's easier for you to access if you decide to make one for yourself. And if you do, please, please let me know, okay? I would love to know how it went and also to be able to answer any questions you may have. Now, this is a 36 by 63 inch quilt. It's a little bit bigger than the usual crib quilts I make, but that's the size needed for the mattress they got. Oh yeah, I forgot that part. One of my cousins, you know, one of those that was a baby in my arms like yesterday, is having a baby. And the fun part is he and his girlfriend decided not to know what they're having, so my brief is greys and greens and yellows with loads of animals. You know, the perfect combination as far as I'm concerned. So the fabric selection was easy. And then I went to Ikea and I saw this kid's duvet cover, you know, forest green filled with forest animals with a yellow leafy back. And yeah, this project was pretty much reborn then and there. <laughs> okay, so we've got the fabric sorted. All that's left to pick is the quilt design. And I picked one of my favorite designs ever, you know, that I had no idea what it was called. You know, I just decided to do it when I first saw a photo online of a similar quilt. And after much research, I am calling it a cross-cut quilt. Now, if I'm wrong about this and there's a better name for this design, please let me know. You know, I'd love to know the name of the design I'm making. <laughs> okay, so for this 36 by 63 inch quilt, we are going to need 18 8 inch fabric squares. First things first, let's sew the squares. Looks cute, right? <laughs> That's done, and one thing I need to tell you is pressing the seams is the secret for this design, okay? You need to press your seams each and every step of the way. So now that the squares are sewn, we're cutting into them, diagonally, like so. Do it carefully, but steadily, okay? Note that we're adding wide strips of fabric to those patchwork strips, so even if disaster strikes, odds are you will be able to cover it up. So next, we are adding 2.5 inch wide strips, like so. Looking pretty good already, don't you think? Now, we take a very deep breath and start cutting again. <laughs> Diagonally, but in the other direction. And again, if something happens and the lines aren't 100% straight, don't worry, because the white strips will help cover any imperfection. Okay, let's cut, cut, cut. And then, of course, we sew more white strips like so. Thank you. 
And there you have it. <laughs> now, be honest, isn't this the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Now the next step is to add the white fabric frame to make up for the total size of the quilt. And don't forget to add an extra 2 inches for the seams, okay? And to press the seams, of course. Now the next step is to add the white fabric frame to make up for the total size of the quilt. And don't forget to add an extra 2 inches for the seams, okay? And to press the seams, of course. And that's it! Our top is complete! Next video is about making our quilt sandwich, so be sure to come back to see how it goes. And I'll see you there, bye bye!